Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and install Optifine for custom launchers. So if you guys are running a custom Minecraft launcher, I'm going to show you guys how to actually download and install Optifine for your custom launcher. Some of you might be using the CurseForge client launcher or some of you might be using GD launcher or any other launcher. So I'm going to show you guys how to actually download and install Optifine onto to those launchers because the installation process if you were to go down the normal route is not so simple so there is another solution on how you can actually get Optifine installed onto a custom launcher and how to play an instance in a custom launcher and have Optifine at the same time so as you guys can see I am currently running some shaders at the moment and if I was to go into my options menu and I go into video settings you can see that I do have a shaders button here similar to what we would expect with Optifine and I can actually go into the shader options and change stuff around so we do know that I have got Optifine installed and you can also see it does say Optifine HD G9 Ultra at the bottom left there I am running the latest release of Minecraft which is a version 1.17.1 so I'm going to show you guys how to actually get everything set up and how to get Optifine installed onto your custom launchers in version 1.17.1 so let me just close down this window I am running an instance in the CurseForge client as you guys can see so I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine for the CurseForge client and then I'm also going to show you guys how to install Optifine onto a GD launcher which is another launcher that I do like to use as well. Alright so the first thing we're going to do now is to actually download the Optifine jar file. So just go into your internet browser and just start typing in Minecraft Optifine. I am going to leave a link in the description to all of the downloads I'm going to show you guys today so you guys don't have to go around searching for these. So just click on the first link which is the Optifine.net link and that should open up the main Optifine website. Click on downloads, look for the latest version which is for the Minecraft version 1.17.1 and as you guys can see it's says Optifine HD U G9 and we can click on the mirror link over here and then click on download because I have found that that is the quickest way to download it and uh, let's wait for that file to finish downloading and then I'm going to put this file onto my desktop and I'll show you guys how to install it onto the CurseForge client and then after that I'm going to show you how to install it onto the GD launcher client as well. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the CurseForge client. So let's go ahead and open up the CurseForge client. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to actually create a new instance in the CurseForge client. So to do that, I'm going to click on the Create Custom Profile link over here on the top right. I'm going to select Fabric because we do actually need to install a mod within the Fabric instance, which is going to allow us to actually install Optifine. So this is the quickest way to do it. It's really simple. It just takes a few clicks and you can just get on with installing Optifine onto the Fabric installation there. So I'm just going to call this profile number one and making sure that Fabric is selected with the latest version of Fabric selected in the drop down. I'm going to hit create and it should create a new installation for the Fabric version that I just showed you there. And as you guys can see, it's now placed the latest creation over here. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go into view profile. And as you guys can see, currently it's got the Fabric API installed onto this installation. So I'm going to click on add more content because this is going to allow us to actually install the mods. And now I'm going to start typing in Opti. So just type in OPTI, hit return, and you should see a link here for OptiFabric. And basically what this is going to do, it's going to allow us to use Optifine with Fabric. So I'm going to click on install. Once that has finished downloading and installing, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to right click onto my new installation. I'm going to click on open folder, and this is going to open up the default folder for the instance. So you can see that it says instances, and it's got the number one name there so let's just minimize the CurseForge launcher and now I'm going to drag the Optifine file and just place it in the mods folder so if you look in your mods folder you should have Fabric API Opti Fabric and Optifine. This is the latest file which we downloaded for version 1.17.1. I'm going to close this down now and let's go back into our CurseForge client and now I can actually click on play and let's wait for that to load up the default Minecraft launcher. I'm going to click on play again making sure that number one is showing over here. That is the name that I did give the instance 
obviously you guys can call the instance whatever you want all right so as you guys can see it has loaded up the game now and hopefully if we click on options and have a look we should have a link here for shaders so you guys can see that we do have a button here that says shaders i can click into this and we can see that we have got the optifine settings here and the bottom left here it does say optifine hd g9 ultra so i do know that optifine has been installed successfully i'm now going to show you guys how to do the same thing in the gd launcher as well it's pretty much similar it doesn't use the default minecraft launcher it launches straight into the game but that does not affect the actual installation process so let's go into our desktop let's close this down let's open up a gd launcher now as you guys can see at the moment it says no instance has been installed so i'm going to click on the bottom left plus icon over here i'm going to select version i'm going to select fabric select releases and the latest version which is 1.17.1 i'm going to click on this and i'm going to select 0.11.6 i'm going to hit this arrow key over here click next and it should start the installation for minecraft fabric so let's wait for that to finish and as you guys can see it's quite quick it has finished installing the fabric instance there i'm now going to right click on this click on manage and then click on mods i can now add mods to this and i can search for opti similar to how I did before and I can now download the OptiFabric mod for Fabric. It has finished downloading and installing OptiFabric for the Fabric installation in GD Launcher. I'm also going to get a few more mods just so I can show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and download Zero's minimap over here and let's go ahead and download Inventory HUD Plus and a few of the other mods as well. Let's go ahead and download Mod Menu. Let's get the WTHIT as well. Let's get more villagers and the falling tree mod as well. I think that should do it. I'm also going to get a FPS mod as well. So let's get the FPS display mod. There we go. So now we have got these extra mods installed as well as OptiFabric. I can now close this down. I can now right click on this and go to open folder. And in this folder, I should have a folder called mods. So I can open up this mods folder. I'm now going to drag the Optifine file, which I downloaded earlier, into the mods folder. So it should say instances, and then it should have the name of the instance you just created in GD Launcher. And then in the mods folder, just plays Optifine, similar to how we did with CurseForge. I can now click on the play button in this launcher, and it should actually launch the game straight away. The difference between GD Launcher and the Curse forge client is that with gd launcher it doesn't actually show us the default launcher for minecraft it just goes straight into the game which is quite cool i do like that because it actually saves us some time as well all right so let's have a look in the options now all right we're now going to click on options click on video settings and as you guys can see at the bottom it does say optifine hd g9 ultra so we do know that optifine has been installed and we do have the mods button here thanks to mod menu and as you guys can see we do have other mods installed as well i'm actually going to go ahead now and install some shaders i'm going to click on shaders and i'm going to click on the shaders fold over here and as you guys can see this is currently empty so i'm just going to quickly drag some shaders into this all right i'm going to drag the kappa shaders into this folder and as you guys can see it has updated with the shaders list quite instantly so i'm going to click on kappa shaders over here and it's going to actually enable the shaders in the game and now i'm going to go back into the main menu click on single player and let's go ahead and create a new world and hopefully that should load up all of the mods and the shaders at the same time and uh, let's wait for that to load up the game now there we go so as you guys can see we do have shaders we can see from the god rays there and the shadows that has loaded up kappa shaders as well and you can see on the top left there i do have a zeros minimap and the fps display counter as well i'm actually going to go ahead and move the minimap to a different position so let's choose the top right corner and let's confirm that all right, so there we go. So as you guys can see, I am now able to play the game with shaders and mods, and I am using a custom launcher. So it's not that difficult. So if you guys are wondering how to actually install Optifine onto a custom launcher like the CurseForge client, 
or another client like GD Launcher or any other Minecraft custom launcher, then all you need to do is just install the OptiFabric mod for a fabric installation and then just place the Optifine file in your mods folder. It's that easy. Hopefully you guys have found this video useful. If you have, please do give us a like. If you have any problems or any queries installing Optifine, for Minecraft custom launchers on version 1.17.1 do leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you guys out and also please do subscribe to this channel to help support it help it grow and I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching